Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, if I was given this equation, y equals 6 over 5 x plus 1. Okay. Well, 1, it's the main thing we're looking at here, is our y-intercept. So, 1, y equals 1, boom, we put a point right there. Now, we have 6 fifths. Okay, six fifths. So we can go up six units over five. That's going to get a little bit out of our graph. We'll see. So we go up six units. One, two, three, four, five. One more. That's just about, that's where seven is. And then one, two, three, four, five. So there's a point somewhere here. But what if you want to point on the graph? Well, one thing I like to see here, y equals six fifths x is the same thing as negative six over negative five x plus one. So what you can do here, if you want to, is we can go down six units, one, two, three, four, five, six units, and then over five units, one, two, three, four, five, right here. Okay. So that helps. This point is what negative five, negative five, and this point here is five, positive seven. Okay, and we have our point zero, comma one. So we can connect these lines here. Let me see if I can do this on one big sweeping motion. There we go. And now we have our, our graph. So let's do a quick recap. We're given y equals 6 fifths x plus 1. 1 is our y-intercept, so I put a dot right there. And then our slope was 6 fifths, so we went up 6 units over 5. But that's the same thing as negative 6 over negative 5. So I also went down from that original starting point, down 6 units, over to the left 5 units, right? And that gave us another point on that line. And so now we connected these three points. Right? You know, even though we only need two for a line, we connected these three to make a line. And now we have 